For case six, we're going to take a look at a 41-year-old man with syncope. Here you see some CT images. These are all the images for this case. Your first question is, in order, what are the most likely sites for hypertensive hemorrhage? So you see this question has given away something about the potential diagnosis. And your second question is, which of these features is most consistent with hypertensive hemorrhage? So location in the cortex, age less than 50, multiple prior microhemorrhages uh, in the subcortical white matter, or multiple prior microhemorrhages in deep brain structures. So this is a relatively straightforward case of hypertensive hemorrhage. These are hemorrhages which occur in the case of hypertension. They're usually patients that are a little bit older in their 60s and 70s. There's a very high mortality rate and the size of the hematoma, expansion on a CTA, expansion on serial imaging, or this uh, spot sign. This is when you see a little bit of active extravasation on a CTA. These are all associated with poor prognosis. Here you see the CT images. You've got this hemorrhage. It's centered in the left basal ganglia and thalamus. You see it kind of dissecting along. You see some blood in the left lateral ventricle. So it's dissected into the ventricle a little bit. So that's relatively common for these kinds of cases. The most common locations are the basal ganglia, thalamus, then the pons and cerebellum, so that's the correct order there. Um, I think you do need to know that these are the most common locations. Uh, I don't know if it's that important to know to be able to put them in perfect order, uh, but you could figure that one out by elimination. The most consistent location is the multiple prior microhemorrhages in the deep brain structures. So a lot of times you'll see patients will have multiple prior microhemorrhages in those locations we just discussed. They'll get little areas of hemosiderosis there. So you'll see those on GRE or susceptibility imaging. So that's consistent with a uh, hypertensive etiology. When you see them in the subcortical white matter predominance, then you've got to think about amyloidosis. Of course, like I said, these are more common in older patients and the cortex is not the most common location.